that race? Yeah, I mean, uh, we rode through the buzzer with three laps to go, saying all lap riders pulled mm. out, and after that, you normally get a clear circuit, but uh, came around the back section of the course here to find boys all over, sat on the apexes of the corners, blocking everything. So, uh, and particularly on the main straight here, we ran a sprint into the back of a group, so uh, it was all a little bit chaotic and frustrating, but we were lucky to have four men there, so hopefully that's kept us up in the team overall. Good, uh, good, a good night for the team. Yeah, it was all right. Uh, Griff and Scott were on particularly good nights. I was swinging around and Ed had a good ride to hang in there. Um, so yeah, it was good as a team in that position. Hopefully that's leapfrogged us up a little bit because Durham was a bit of a frustrating one for us and Aberdeen also. So it'd be nice to try and move our way back what up What was the circuit like? Because it looked, there's eight bends or something. Yeah, it was strange. Uh, it was chaotic mm. to say the least, but when we initially rode it we thought it was going to be absolutely rock hard but mm. it was easier in the wheels than it maybe looked there was one big long sprint up this straight and then but this bottom section you were just tapping between the corners really so it was hard to get away but then relatively easy in the wheels so it probably led to a bigger front group than we have seen at the others the best the best round so far for the boys uh probably yeah i think we've had another third uh yeah. but yeah definitely one of the best rides in terms of the team yeah and uh going on to salisbury uh, yes, yeah, Salisbury will look forward to move again. I'm missing Salisbury, luckily yeah. I have a little bit of a break now before Brooklands. But uh, yeah, we've got another strong team, a few fresher riders coming in for Salisbury to up who will carry on mm. stepping stone with each round. And a quick word, I must mention one of your sponsors, Continental. Um, on, a, on, a, on a crit like this, tyres, pressures and all that, how do you set your, your wheels up? Uh, well, I like... I run really soft tyres, I've come from cyclocross, so I'm used to soft tyres, so tonight I was only running 60 and 65 psi, which is quite low, um, but we're on the GP 5000 tubeless ones now, and to be fair, they're absolutely amazing. Uh, what I've, size are they then? 25 mil, but the yeah. size up to about 27 on those wheels, so yeah, must admit they are absolutely mint, as good as a tub, I was a bit worried about not riding tubs, but as good if not better than a tub, so perfect.